Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever heard about SQL databases? I'm sure you have heard of it as an incredible tool for data management and analysis. But within finance department, where we actually handle quite a lot of financial data, we don't really use SQL. In fact, in my past working experience in both public accounting and also commercial accounting, I have not seen any finance and accounting department adopted SQL as part of their data workflow. Now, I know that Excel is an extremely powerful tool and it is probably something that we analysts are already very familiar with. But when it comes to the data preparation and transformation process, I think it is important to incorporate SQL into your workflow. And here is why. When it comes to analyzing large datasets, SQL is much more efficient than Excel. SQL is much faster at performing calculations on large datasets compared to Excel. It can handle millions of rows of data without breaking a sweat. Whereas Excel starts to slow down significantly beyond just a few thousand rows. And sometimes it can even crash. And if you did not turn on autosave and do not have the habit of saving frequently, once Excel crash, there goes all your hard work down the drain. Not only that, you can actually save a lot of time when you are performing complex calculations that require multiple lookups across multiple tables. Here's an example. We have a sales table in local currency and an exchange rate table. Now, I need to have the total sales revenue in US dollar and for that, I need to look up for the values from the exchange rate table to do my conversion. My typical way of doing this in Excel would be to create a period column using the year and the month of the available dates column for both tables. Then I will combine the currency and period to form my unique key for the lookup. After we have the unique key for each row, only then we can look up the exchange rates based on the unique key that we have created. So there are a few steps involved over here and you need to redo the steps every single time you are trying to perform the translation. In SQL, it is quite simple. Just type select the columns in sales table and join it with the exchange rate based on currency and dates falling between the start date and end date and you are done. Every time you refresh, it will keep it updated as long as your exchange rate table is updated. There's so much more functionality that is built in SQL and it really can save you a lot of precious time when you are processing your data. In the world of finance, accuracy is key. One small error in your calculations can lead to major consequences. In fact, it is actually quite common to see an error in spreadsheet resulting in disastrous financial consequences. That is where SQL comes in. With its built-in features like data types and constraints, SQL helps to ensure that your data is accurate and reliable. On the other hand, Excel is prone to errors. Imagine this scenario. You are working on a financial analysis piece in Excel, and you wanted to copy your data. And because Excel is so slow and so laggy due to the enormous database that you have, the computer miss your control key input when you are trying to push control C. One of your key data has been replaced by the character C. Happens frequently to us, isn't it? It is easy to make mistakes like this in Excel, especially when you are dealing with large datasets and lots of formulas. And if you are not paying close attention, you may not even realize the mistake until your manager comes shouting at you. When you are working with data in SQL databases, it is much harder to make accidental adjustments. You can't just delete a row of data by mistake or accidentally change the value. So, if you are working with sensitive financial data that requires accuracy, it is much safer to use SQL than Excel. Now let us talk about consistency. When it comes to financial data analysis, it is essential to have the ability to reperform your work and reproduce the result. With SQL, you have a clear record of all the data that you use all the steps and calculations that you have already performed for your data transformation process. It is easy to trace back any steps and see exactly how you come out with the final output. If your colleagues need to perform similar operations, all they need to do is just connect to the same database and copy and paste the SQL statement that you have previously documented. Excel, on the other hand, can be a bit of a black box. 
it is very easy to make mistakes or misplace formulas, and it can be quite hard to track down where those errors occurred. Not to mention how difficult it is for your colleagues to rework your analysis, we sometimes cannot even recall what we did to the data just after a few days or even a few hours. So if you are working on a team or just want to make sure that your work is transparent and easy to reproduce by others, SQL is definitely the way to go. Now I'm not saying that Excel is completely useless for financial data analysis. It definitely has its place given its user friendliness and there are certain tasks that it excels at. But I think it is important to incorporate SQL as part of your financial analysis workflow, especially if you are working with large datasets and need the speed, accuracy, and consistency that SQL can offer. Excel is extremely user-friendly and it is a good medium to allow you and your end users to interact with your analysis and data. Try this in your data workflow. Use SQL to store and manage your data. Then when you need the data, extract and transform your data using SQL statement before feeding it in into Power Query. Then use the data model and pivot table features in Excel to build your analysis from there. Interested to learn how to implement this? Make sure to subscribe to my channel as I will be showing you how to set up your own personal SQL database easily, just like an Excel spreadsheet. So there you have it. Just some thoughts from me on why SQL is such a great tool to have when it comes to financial data analysis. Let me know what you think about SQL, and if you see any potential difficulties to implement SQL in your company down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Joel. Thumbs if you like it, sub if you love it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.